All right, it's time for lesson 4B, ribbon work. We're going to make the cherry blossoms using a technique I call mountain folds. Start by spraying a light layer of spray starch onto the ribbon and press the ribbon dry. This gives the ribbon more body and is easier to use. I am working with a 9 inch length of the 13 millimeter ribbon which is perfect for these cherry blossoms. But ribbon work is experimental. You just have to try different ribbon widths and lengths for any technique. Friends of mine helped me realize that by using these very short applique pins, this technique is more easily accomplished. Start by folding the ribbon diagonally forward, leaving a little tail of about one inch. This forms what I call the first mountain. It might look more like a plateau to others. Pin the first mountain fold. Now fold the ribbon diagonally upward, then diagonally forward again, pinning each mountain as you work. These mountains are about one quarter of an inch deep, so use your grid lined space to help with that or a ruler. A wider fold would make a bigger flower and use more ribbon. Let's count the mountains. One, two, three, four. The plateau or the straight edge is what I am counting as a mountain. Continue folding and pinning the mountains for a total of nine mountains. Or less or more. Now we're going to stitch this or gather stitch this and I'm going to start right here so I'm not starting at the very beginning and I'm there's no knot on my thread I'm going to take three little whip stitches in place so no knots with ribbon work Gather stitch along the folded edge where the pins are pointing toward and capture all the ribbon layers on the underside. Leave all the gathers on the needle and remove most of the pins. Pull the thread through the ribbon carefully, then overlap the beginning onto the end matching up folds so they are continuous. Pin to hold the overlap. Now complete the gather stitching. Trim the excess ribbon, leaving a one quarter inch seam allowance. While pulling the gathering stitches as tightly as possible, drag the seam allowance to the side that is facing you. Secure the gathers, with three whip stitches. A small piece of medium weight non-woven interfacing is great to use to sew ribbon work compositions together. For this design, I've already sewn two flowers and have applied them to the interfacing. For the last flower, sew the thread to the flower, then sew directly into the interfacing. Secure all flowers in place of several times, then secure thread on underside with whip stitches. Add accents to the cherry blossom centers using 2mm ribbon and the looped ribbon stitch. 
To make the looped ribbon stitch, bring your ribbon up to the center of one flower, make an eighth inch deep loop with the ribbon, pierce the loop as for a ribbon stitch, and then st stitch straight down. Before completing the stitch, leave that second loop on the top. Continue to add color accents to the other two flowers in the same manner. Now what I'm going to do is trim the excess interfacing away. So you just have to be careful not to cut into the flowers. The cherry blossoms piece will be applied to the accent shape next after the beading is done. In the next lesson, we'll work on beading and embellishments.